Well, it's time to talk about Andy Keto. And um, we have to talk about it because, you know, it's come in light recently that YouTube tolerates this kind of behavior, as we've seen with SS Sniper Wolf getting nearly a very tiny slap on the wrist for uh, stalking another uh, YouTuber. Um, now, as you know, I've been harassed here. And again, it's all I have a right to express my point of view. All right. As I try to do it respectfully, as respectfully as possible. Uh, but unfortunately, other people, they just don't feel that way. And um, without further ado, I want to show you some of the harassment that I've been getting from Andy Keto. And a lot of it's uh, through email, though I've also gotten some phone calls as well. But we'll first start with the email. All right, so let's start with the email first. All right, so we're going to find this. So here we go. So these are the emails he sent me. Why you mention me? I'm not calling Hispanics illegals. I'm talking about people's behavior here. Um, you know, it's, it's just stop complaining. And here he is. I guess he, he supports Hamas because he says free Palestine. And then this is a threat here or else you won't be on this planet for very long. This is it right there. You see that? Zoom that in there. You can see that. That's a threat right there. All right. And then you fail, and then he's like, I'm calling your agency and tell them to call you. Out. You call them out. I have every right to criticize my agency. I have every right to do that, man. And I left out their last names. I didn't give any phone numbers. I respected their privacy, unlike you, Andy Keto. And they can't just kick me out for speaking out. If they try, that's definitely going to be a lawsuit right there. I have a right to criticize them. I just send a voice message. LOL. I just told your agency to investigate. You made a big mistake to mention your agency name on video. Now you are screwed. Good luck getting kitties out and on the streets like a bum. They can't do that. I have every right to speak out, man. They want a lawsuit? They, if, if just was criticizing them? I have every right to criticize them. Another one. See, you called me out and your child is dead. I'll call your agency and again let them know you're calling them out. In fact, I will email them. Also, you don't belong in a diverse state like you know. And he keeps making it uh, keep hating on Hispanic music. Like the Mexican music. <laughs> oh my God. I happen to actually like a lot of Latino artists. I like freestyle from the 80s, which was Latino music. I like Julio Iglesias, Enrique Iglesias, Gloria Estefan, um, many Latino artists. I'm not into that style of music that they currently play, but it has nothing to do with it being Latino. It has everything to do with the fact that they're disrespecting, they're not respecting the community. All right? Uh, this is unbelievable. Had enough of me, you know, leech, leech. Where have I heard leech before? You may ask. Where have we seen that word leech before? Well, on bus seats. Yeah, I saw this uh, last week, painted on one of the Gillig's in the back. So this is this is this is the kind of just because I want to speak out, this is what happens. All right, this is because I want to speak out about what's going on. This is this is the way I get treated. And it says, stop snitching on me. I don't talk to Popo. I mean, what, what kind of, you know, I mean, really. I feel like I'm talking to a child here. Andy Keto is supposed to be a grown man. He certainly doesn't act like it. You're just threatening to call my agency again. And then you mentioned, stop hating on the South Shore. That's why MTA prodigies and others have beef with you. Kevin is right on the money about you, fat ass. That's what he says. So that's obviously he's, he's speaking with Kevin Bowers, this guy right here. We know that already. I think he's funding this. I, th I, I don't know what's going on exactly. But I know he's behind the scenes doing something. He'll say, oh, it's not me. Leave me out of it. Yeah, all the, all the talking points, everything. Junk food, John. That's all you, Kevin Bowers, man. I know all those sayings. That came from you. That came from you. So then we go to Andy Keto's 
YouTube. Stop attacking the South Shore. There are diverse people there. So it's... It, <laughs> You know, I'm not attacking the South Shore. I'm pointing out that they get treated better than everybody else. And there needs to be equality. There are diverse people there. <laughs> oh, my God. Diverse people. Right, right, yeah, right. You know, the more diverse part of the island is the middle. All right. And, of course, he's criticizing um, NYC Pokemon fan for uh, speaking out again. Um, you know, and, and of course... YouTube suspends NYC Pokemon fan for for speaking out against Andy Ke Keto. And it, meanwhile, Andy Keto can continue to p push, abuse this platform, bullying, hate speech, stalking. All right, here he goes again. Just get a job. I can't do that. I'm a, I have a mental disability, Andy Keto, but he don't understand that. And here he goes. He thinks he owns Jamaica. Not to come back to Jamaica. I reported this comment. I reported this comment. And guess what? It's still up. It's still up. It's unbelievable. Stop hating on... I'm not hating on people of color. I look at the way people behave, Andy. All right? They dump crap all over the streets. They have no respect for the community. This has nothing to do with their color. Right? I've seen white people have no respect for their community. We have those here in Mineola too. All right? We have all kinds of problems being dumped here. So this is the kind of stuff he's pushing. Pushing the narrative. You know. And it just. We will get at reform in person. You know. So he's targeting. He's targeting. NYC Pokemon fan. So his whole channel is, there he goes, Free Palestine again there. You know, I have every right to document how Rockville Center is thriving. All right, how they're living it up while the middle of the island is dead, Andy. But you don't care because you're obviously getting money or I don't know what it is. Maybe he's just psychotic, but I think he's getting paid off to do this um, quite handsomely too probably because, again, you've got a lot of people on the... Complaining about the ferry fare. That's why he went. Well, I didn't want to go. All right. Here we go. I mean, I could go on and on here with the lies and the hate he's spreading here. I, I really can. I really can. And yes, I'm sorry for uh, MTA Prodigy. He lost his father. Um, but uh, Andy Keto, you know, I mean, this is... The, the, I mean, literally, <laughs> I'm against police, right? You know, I mean, I could go on and on showing you his channel here. It's ridiculous. It really is. It really is. You go to videos, which I'm not going to play any of them. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of the videos just criticize me. He thinks owner of the Queens Boulevard reporting. Owner. He thinks he owns Jamaica. I mean, really? Really? So this is somebody who's completely, very much like SS Sniper Wolf. Every con almost all of his content abuses the platform, and yet YouTube just continues to allow this kind of stuff to be, to be put out. It's unbelievable. It truly is. I have every right to speak up about my agency. I did it respectfully. I left out their last names. I I respected their privacy. All right. And guess what? I do have records of our conversations. Uh, uh, further records, I'm not going to share them anymore. I'm not going to share any more than I already have with you, all right? Because I don't think that's right, all right? I try to have morals unlike you, Andy Keto, all right? I try to have morals like you. Hochul, I mean, I have every right to criticize the governor, Andy, all right? I have every right to criticize her. And again, I do it respectfully. I don't, unlike you, I don't leak people's addresses and stuff and emails and stuff like that. I have the decency to hide your emails when I, look, when, I, when I show people the emails, I blocked out your email. I'm not displaying your email. All right? Because I respect the YouTube community guidelines, unlike you, Andy. But it's obviously YouTube actually supports this kind of behavior because we all know YouTube is funded by the rich. 
Here we go. Another one that I have. Don't come back to Jamaica. Don't come back to Jamaica. I, I mean, really. This is right out of the Kevin Bowers playbook. Really. Right out of the Kevin Bowers playbook. But YouTube does nothing about it. This is harassment and bullying of people with disabilities. This is reprehensible. And yet it continues to get away with it because YouTube really doesn't want people like us here. They don't want people like us here. YouTube supports the corrupt. They support the rich. They support the, the, the certain demographic people that are in control of everything. All right? And they don't want people speaking out. And that's why they enable people like Andy Q99, Andy Keto, NYC Life 67 or whatever, you know, to, 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 to spout this kind of crap. All right? All right? Meanwhile, I've got to endorse stuff like this. I've got to endorse stuff like this just for speaking out. Just for speaking out. Just for speaking out and doing it in a respectful manner. I feel things are being treated unfairly. I'm being treated unfairly. All right? Yet this is what happens. And this is why nobody else wants to speak out. And YouTube has shown itself not to be a safe place for creators, especially creators who speak out against the corrupt. It's so obvious. So, let's hear what, they, hear what I got on my phone uh, this past week. Thursday, 12.52 p.m. So there you go. Um, it's just it's just reprehensible. It truly is. And you know, this is harassment. I've already gone to the police. They don't do nothing here. They don't do nothing because the police, they're corrupt too. All right. He knows he wouldn't be able to get away with this in New Jersey, but we all know in New York, you can pretty much the corrupt pretty much run everything in this state. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I know I'm probably going to get even more hate for speaking out against the hate, but hey, that's what I'm going to do because it needs to be known that YouTube has failed us and um, you know, we all know that our days on the platform are numbered, uh, but I'm going to keep speaking out as long as, they, as, long as I can, uh, but you know, there's going to be a day when YouTube will probably find a way to shut me down and shut you down too for speaking out because YouTube serves the corporate overlords. They serve the, the snobs. They serve the, the, the corrupt uh, and they don't really want us speaking out, even though they say they have a terms of service and all that other stuff. Their actions speak louder than their words, and their inaction 
on people like Andy Keto, as well as SS Sniper Wolf and others, um, really show uh, that YouTube itself has become a very dysfunctional, unsafe place for creators. That is all. Thank you for watching.